Hi everyone, Komi here and this is my gaming performance review of the POCO M4 Pro, a successor to the POCO M3 Pro which was released some months ago. The POCO M4 Pro packs some features such as a 6.6 inch Full HD Plus LCD display with 90Hz refresh rate, a Dimensity 810 5G chipset, a 4GB or 6GB RAM and also 128GB UFS 2.2 storage, a massive 5000mAh battery capacity and a 33W fast charging support which is an improvement over its predecessor and all this is available at a starting price of $330. Links for purchase will be provided in the description. So in the gaming test, you will be playing some games such as Call of Duty Mobile, Asphalt 9, PUBG and Rocket League Sideswipe. The games will be played continuously for 40 minutes and this video is made for you to know how well the games perform on the POCO M4 Pro with Dimensity 810 chipset. So before we start the gaming test, first we have to check the temperature. Brightness has been set to max and I'll be using the FPS counter from Razer Cortex app. Also, the game will be recorded using an inbuilt MIUI screen recorder, so this might affect the performance in a bit. Currently, we have 95% battery remaining and some of the games have been enabled in the high graphic settings. Now, starting with Asphalt 9, the gameplay wasn't really bad. I had 59 to 60 FPS during gameplay, which is really good. By the way, you may see some frame drops in the recorder because I didn't use a game table screen recorder. So after 10 minutes of Asphalt 9 gameplay, we have 92% remaining, which means 3% battery was used during the gameplay. And the device temperature is okay and not that warm. Moving over to the next game, which is Call of Duty Mobile, with graphics set to medium and frame rate set to high, the game was enjoyable on the POCO M4 Pro and I experienced no lags on the device even though what you see on the recording could be different from the real gameplay. Enemy down! 
Let's go, let's go. Enemy contact. Target in sight. Sniper. I had an average frame rate of 59 fps and after 10 minutes of gameplay on the POCO M4 Pro, I had 3% battery drain, leaving us with 89% left. Now, moving on to Rocket League, which is a nice and simple game. I didn't find the graphics settings, so it's being played in the default settings. I have an average frame rate of 90 fps which is kind of impressive and after 10 minutes gameplay we had 3% battery drain leaving us with 86% left. From this it looks like for every 10 minutes of gameplay we get 3% battery drain maybe. Now our last game is PUBG Mobile New States and this is my first time trying this game. It looks kind of different compared to the main one. And the game looks unfinished and unoptimized on the Poco M4 Pro compared to the actual PUBG game. Надо проверить мое место.
проверить мое место. There was a bit of lagging during gameplay. I got an average frame rate of 40 FPS and 3% battery drain, leaving us with 83% left. So after 40 minutes of continuous gameplay, I had 12% battery drain. For temperature for the back of the device, we got 39 for the top and 36 degrees Celsius for the bottom. For the front, we got 40 for the top and 38 degrees Celsius for the bottom, which isn't much increase in temperature comparing to the start. Gaming for 60 minutes continuously would have been 77% remaining if I should compare to the gaming stats I have right now. And with this, I can assure you that this device can support 4 hours and some few minutes of gaming. I must say the battery life is quite decent. So that's it for the gaming review of the Poco M4 Pro. Let me know your thoughts on this device in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe and also click on the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload videos like this in the future. Kobe once again, signing off.